Hello, it's Charlotte here and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today's video is going to be really short and sweet where I'm going to answer the simple question, which is what happened to Google My Business Profile and Squarespace websites? So that's what we're going to be answering in today's video. So you guys might know, especially if you watch some of my older videos or something, you might hear me talking about Google My Business, Google My Business Profiles, okay? And I talk about like, oh yeah, make sure you have it like all clicked up through the settings of a Squarespace website. And you might be like, wait a minute, but if I do that, it doesn't work anymore, right? You're like, I can't follow along on the instructions. You're like, what happened? Is it gone? Like, is it whatever? So I'm going to be answering that in today's video. So just sit tight. I'm going to tell you what it is, all that sort of thing. But before we do, I want to remind you that I have a Squarespace SEO checklist. It's totally free to download. It has been downloaded by thousands and thousands and thousands of people. So if you want to learn more about SEO on your Squarespace website, you want to improve visibility in online searches, make sure that you are yeah, getting everything all set up properly with Squarespace SEO. I'm going to leave a link to this down below. You can um, yeah, grab a copy of it, you know, smack it next to your wall while you're doing your work and make sure everything is taken care of so that you are all good on the SEO front. But yeah, grab a copy of that. Thank me later. All good. So now let's answer that question. What happened to Google My Business Profiles and the Squarespace website integration? That's a good question. Okay, so first of all, we should talk, let's rewind and say, what is Google My Business Profile and what does it have to do with Squarespace SEO, all that sort of thing. So back in, the, basically a Google My Business Profile is now called Google Business Profiles, okay? So it used to be called Google My Business, now it's called a Google Business Profile. So it's the same functionality, they just changed the name. Okay. And so, yeah, if you're watching old videos, you read through old blog posts, you might hear people talking about Google My Business or like GMB, Google My Business. Well, now it's just called Google Business Profiles. Okay. So nothing really changed except for the name, but Google Business Profiles are, you know, anytime you do like an online search or something and you see a little like profile show up in a search result for the business or in the maps feature or something like that, um, that's what a Google business profile feature is. And again, take a look at those videos. I'll link to them up above and down below in the description if you wanna learn more about setting up a Google business profile and how they're helpful for your type of business, whether you do services, products, online, whatever, take a look at those. But yeah, so the first part of the question is basically it's just a name change, okay? Simple, 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 simple. It used to be Google My Business, now it's Google business profiles. Okay. Now the second half of the question is people are like, what happened to the integration with Squarespace? <laughs> and again, if you go back and watch some of my old videos, or if you're reading other people's, um, you know, older blog posts or video tutorials or anything about Squarespace websites, you might hear them talk about the Google My Business integration with the Squarespace website. So back in the day, there used to be a setting. So if you went to like the back end of your Squarespace websites and you were in the settings section, there used to be a way to connect to Google My Business. So again, you could directly in the Squarespace platform, you could connect your Squarespace website to a Google, what we now call Google Business Profile, right? Um, but back then it was called the Google My Business but you used to be able to do it directly through the settings on the back end of your Squarespace website. And now that functionality is no longer available. Squarespace removed that feature. And so if you do want to, if you still want to use Google business profile, which you should, you should still very much want to do that. Let me reiterate, you should still want to use Google business profile, even though they don't have a direct integration set up anymore. It's fine. It's easy. No worries. You could still do it in like a couple minutes. But now what you have to do is you have to go to your Google business profile. So like log in on a separate browser and all that sort of thing. You don't access it through the back end of your Squarespace website. You have to access it through Google business profiles, then update your listing to connect it to your Squarespace website. So do you see what I mean? It's like you used to be able to like get there via the back end of Squarespace website, but now it's like you have to go there directly and then connect it to Squarespace. Ultimately the same, it's the same results, but it's just going about it in a different way. So yeah, if you ever wondered like, why doesn't that still work? Or if I'm watching an old tutorial, like I can't get there, what, <laughs> what happened to it? Well, 
now you know. So yeah, long story short, there was a name change and they removed the direct integration from Squarespace, but you can still do it. And I, again, if you're in any way, shape or form interested in SEO on your Squarespace website, I 100% recommend that you set up a Google business profile and connect it to your Squarespace website. This will be really helpful for you in not only controlling how your business displays online, but improving the visibility in online searches, whether it's in online searches or in map searches, whatever. You can share customer reviews, which helps build trust and authority, all that sort of thing. There's so many benefits for it. So yeah, don't let the name change throw you off. It's the same thing, just under a different name. And even though you can't connect to it through the back end of Squarespace website anymore, that's fine. You can just open it. <laughs> another browser window and then connect to your Squarespace website that way. So I hope this was helpful. A nice short and sweet video for you today. Take a look at the other videos that I've done recently about Google business profiles if you want to learn more. And yeah, take a look at the rest of the videos and blog posts that I have about just general Squarespace SEO and websites and online marketing. I have so much content for you to enjoy. So you're welcome in advance. All right. Oh yeah. And grab the SEO checklist. That's the last thing. Grab the checklist before you go. And that one, 100% you're welcome for. Okay. <laughs> That's it for now. Um, have a great rest of your day and I will see you again soon in the next video. Bye.